Hey, Nerking101 here. If you liked the video, please give it a like. You can follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, you can support the channel by donating to my PayPal, which is linked in the description box down below. So, in order to give context to why I'm doing this, because I'm not normally the kind of guy to do versus battles, um, I just got done watching the Squad Kage versus Afro Senju Sakura versus Maduro debate, and it was a mess. And I really wanted to record a video where I explained why Sakura could destroy Madara. So there's a few things to point out right away. First of all, we are talking about EMS Madara from the Final Valley, the guy who fought Hashirama and died way back before the series started. So things like Hashirama save mode and the Ritagon are not relevant to this discussion for Madara. So I will be talking about things from that part of the series in regards to scaling Sakura. Which is what we're mainly going to be doing here. Scaling Sakura simply because I think everybody watching this video probably knows what Madara Uchiha is capable of. The first thing I want to talk about is how Chakra Enhanced Strength works and how the amount of Chakra Sakura possesses plays in to how powerful her punches are and why that matters. So to start off, in case you have forgotten, Sakura's Chakra Enhanced Strength gathers a lot of her Chakra, however much she chooses to use, into her fist and releases it upon impact. This is not up for debate, this is how the Jitsu works. Now, since the amount of Chakra Sakura pours into the punch and then releases when impact takes place, does help decide how much damage does the punch will cause. That means that we absolutely need to determine roughly how much Chakra Sakura has. Obviously, measuring Chakra is very difficult. However, we do have a pretty simple gauge for Sakura, which is a statement by Naruto in which he said, Sakura possesses more Chakra than one of his Sith Path Shadow Clones does. This is very important because this indicates a few things. One of which is that Sakura Chakra is relative, if not greater, than the Chakra of the Nine-Tailed Fox. Now, I'm not saying she certainly has more Chakra than the Nine-Tailed, but she definitely, going off this statement, has enough to be given the same ballpark as the QB. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I would like to talk briefly about Sakura Speed Blitzing Kaguya. This is the most contentious feat Sakura has. It's more contentious than her saying she's caught up to Naruto and Sasuke. It's even more contentious than her saying she is no longer inferior to them in the Boruto data books. This is contentious, and I can see why, because I don't necessarily think the way people describe it as a speed blitz is the right way to describe what happened here. But it is objective that Sakura landed a hit on Kaguya, even though she had the Byakugan. And some people like to say Kaguya was caught off guard. That simply isn't possible for two reasons. One, she had shade mode based sensing abilities, first of all. And second of all, considering how small Part 1 Neji's blind spot was that it is just simply insane to say or assume that Kaguya, the strongest character in the manga, would have a blind spot big enough for a 17 year old girl to get through. Sakura is far bigger than anything that has ever gotten through Neji's blind spot. So the only way you can argue the blind spot for Sakura is if you were saying Neji at Teenage, like 13 years old, had a better Byakugan than Kaguya. Now, even if you were to say Kaguya was caught off guard, I hate to be the one to tell you that Naruto also caught her off guard when he performed sexy jitsu and landed a blow on her, and he didn't hurt her at all. In fact, Naruto used Super Tail B Start Ross and Shirokin Barrage, and none of these Ross and Shirokin, nine clones, Nine Roth and Shurikens is powered by an individual tail beat and their unique abilities still did not hurt Kaguya at all, and yet Sakura's punch did. Then of course there is Sakura's ability to speed blitz in Mimboruto, Shin Uchiha, who is relative to base Naruto and Sasuke, who are unquestionably 
stronger than EMF Madara. Which does in fact equate Shin Uchiha to being stronger than EMF Madara. Now, nobody is arguing, or at least I am not arguing, that Shin Uchiha is stronger than Stage of Sith Path Mode Madara. That would be, in my opinion, completely ridiculous. However, considering he is able to fight on the level of base Naruto and Sasuke and Boruto, that would imply to me that he has to be stronger than EMF Madara, because Naruto and Sasuke and base are definitely stronger than EMF Madara. But even though Shin has shining on in the back of his head, she is able to move so fast that she is able to approach him from behind and beat him in one shot without him noticing her coming. Something I've seen brought up, especially during the Quag Kage vs. Afro Senju debate on this topic, is Madara's ability to, with his Susano, slice multiple mountains. However, I think the important thing to note about that feat is that one, that feat is demonstrated by a different Madara than the one we're talking about, but the theory does make it clear that that is something EMF Madara is capable of. However, it's important to note that while he does have that kind of destructive power, it's only really due to the size of his Susano. While Sakura can't deal that amount of damage on that kind of wide-scale environmental level, Sakura is capable of outputting enough power to do so because her amount of chakra does surpass that of Madara. So she may, can deal out the amount of power necessary to do such a feat, but she just can't affect as large of an area because, you know, she's not like a hundred feet tall and can't stand over mountains. You can't level multiple mountains when you're just standing in the middle of a village. Sasuke is also not capable of destroying the level of land masses Naruto is with a tail beef bomb. He simply does not have the ability to do that. But Sasuke can produce an attack that can match the tail beef bomb in power. Just like Sakura can produce an attack that has enough chakra to match the force of Madara's attack when he slices the mountain, she would just be concentrating it into a single, smaller point. Going off of this, we also know that Sakura is more powerful than Dunade, who was able to crack resurrected Edo Tensei Madara's Susano. So, Sakura is fast enough to get Kaguya off guard, fast enough to get Shin Uchiha off guard, and is strong enough to match the power of Madara's attack because we know her chakra levels surpass that of a clone of Sith Path Naruto. Mind you, if you rewatch the fight, these clones are capable of fighting with Kaguya in combat. And it's also implied in Boruto that the Hidden Leaf Village is still the most powerful village in the world even without Naruto and Sasuke. And Madara and Hachirama, when they were alive, were nowhere near the level Naruto and Sasuke were during the war. They simply were nowhere near that level. I don't see many ways this version of Madara could defeat Boruto-era Sakura. It's also incredibly hard to kill Sakura, as we saw when Dunade was literally cut in half and able to easily recover. And considering Sakura is more powerful than Zunane, there is an argument to be made that Sakura could handle an attack like that even better. This is to even say if Madara could even hit her with how fast she is. It's also worth noting that in Boruto, Sasuke goes out of his way in multiple canon episodes, canon chapters, and canon novels to talk about how strong his wife is. Sasuke is also not the kind of character to just hype up people's power because he's close to them. That's not who Sasuke is. He's not just going to say, Stop, my wife is super tough because she's his wife. He says it because he knows it's true. This is backed up by the fact that when she was kidnapped by Shin Uchiha, Sasuke literally showed so little concern that Naruto, who is also equally aware of us as Sasuke, of how powerful Sakura is, got annoyed because he thought Sasuke should show a little bit more concern, but then Sasuke does point out, as I said earlier, that he doesn't have a weak wife and there's no reason to be concerned. Sasuke did arrive and intervene in the fight via Sakura was losing at that very moment. There are a couple of things to consider about that situation. First of all, the big thing to consider is that Sakura does state in that chapter that she is holding back against Jin because she does not want to kill him. Sakura is clearly holding back and she has not released her seal yet and is clearly not actually in any serious peril. 
Sasuke shows up, and the fight kind of ends when they show up. Sakura and Sasuke don't ever really seem to be concerned again. And even if they were, it's irrelevant because Jin is stronger than the modder we're talking about because he scales on some level to base Naruto and Sasuke, like Sakura does, who are far stronger than EMS Madara. It's also worth noting that even pre-Boruto, Sakura is compared directly to EMS Sasuke and KCM Naruto, who are around the level of guys like Hashirama. They are just entering the tier pre this Path power-up when Sakura is compared to them. They have just started to enter that realm of power, and then they get the Sith Path power-up, and Sakura also gets the power-up, and then you add on the 10 years plus of training she had from the end of Sith 99 to 700 and the Boruto anime. She's also shown that she has the ability to tank a tail beast bomb, as shown in Sakura Love Riding Through the Spring Breeze. So based on all of this, yes, I do believe that adult Boruto Sakura, the strongest, oldest, most experienced version of Sakura, the one in Boruto, Boruto Sakura, the grown-ass adult one, the one that is legally married to Sasuke, her last name is Uchiha, she has a kid, the adult one, can beat Madara that fought Hashirama, the one with EMS, there's no Rinnegan, there's no Hashirama still, there's no Ten Tail, the one that fought Madara, you know, the one we saw in the Hashirama and Madara flashback when Hashirama told Sasuke a story during story time. Once again, we are talking about Boruto Sakura, Boruto Sakura versus EMF Madara, Boruto Sakura versus EMF Madara. I'm repeating this because I desperately don't want to hear in the comments people bring up anything about Sakura fighting any higher level versions of Madara. I am not, and I think nobody on the internet that is having this conversation is saying Sakura could be Sith Path Madara. That is not the debate that is being had here. That is a completely different discussion that would require completely different scaling. That is not the discussion we're having. This video has just been me outlining the thing Sakura has that I think allow her, so far, to beat EMF Madara, and as I said, I will give Madara, Izanami and Izanagi are very dangerous, but most of the cases I have outlined such as that, but one real problem is that I don't believe Madara would be able to hit Sakura, I also don't believe he would have any reason to activate any such jitsu prior to the fight, because I don't think Madara would see himself losing to somebody like Sakura going into the fight. He didn't activate them before he went into a fight with Hashirama, so I don't know why he would do that before a fight with Sakura. He could have used them in a fight with Hashirama, and he didn't. So I see no reason why he would do that in a fight with someone like Sakura, who he knows nothing about. And I don't think this is super far-fetched. This is Naruto, but power creep is terrible, and considering the kind of stress they're facing in Boruto, I personally do not believe it is too out there to say that the version of Sakura at the end of the series, Sakura being the third most important character in the entire manga, she's the third main character of the show, next to Naruto, then Sasuke, then her, I don't see why it's ridiculous to say, considering the power creep, as I said, and the kind of stress they're facing, that Sakura could be one of the weakest, earliest versions of the old main villain, who is at this point really outclassed. That's why I think Sakura can be EMF Madara. I said it, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really just did this after watching the Squad Kage vs. Afro Senju fight because I was annoyed by how badly that fight went. It wasn't really a debate, and it didn't, I don't think it went very well, and I kind of just wanted to lay out my thoughts on why I think Sakura could beat EMF Madara. Please, while remaining civil and respectful of all parties involved, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave it a like if you did. Subscribe for more videos, though this isn't one I normally do. As I said, it was kind of a burn the moment decision at like 11.30 at night. And yeah, hope you enjoyed, and have a great day.